It smells like French fries. No, Charles Ford is not a sane man. <laughs> He's very, very functionally crazy. My veggie mobile, run on vegetable oil. Shut up! Swear to God. Oh my gosh! I don't know of anyone that is operating biodiesel in their in their diesel engines at the altitude at this altitude ten thousand feet. I think we're the highest uh, biodiesel operators. What does that stuff do to the environment? It smells like a big potato out here. Charis is just on fire, you know. He's just got a fire burning within him. I don't know where it comes from, but um, you know, he wants to see a change, and and so he's trying to do what he can to do it. We could get driven to extinction just for spinning our wheels up and offing ourselves with our own automobiles like them dinosaurs that died out that technology's old and while they profit from pollution we've been getting sold multinational corporations lobby for they greed and they can grease the pumps of politicians at light speed but think fast that you big brother and big business blowing smoke up your ass brainwashing us to believe the drama bloodshed and greed that we keep on creating in the middle east is completely removed oh yeah it has nothing to do with our out and out addiction to the flammable goo Oil, that is. Well, nice try. I hear it chirping, but it just don't fly. So far, the biofuel processor on Hastings Mesa is a three-way partnership between Ken Hodges, Charles Ford, and myself. I certainly think it's a step in the right direction, and uh, we're utilizing resources that would otherwise be wasted. Yeah, I did. I got 10 of them. I've heard they've mixed up their first batch, and I'm ready to put it in our diesel crane and lift up some big beams and keep on building a better world. So I think it's a, uh, a crucial priority, should be, for our society to develop alternative sources of fuel. Whether that's going to be vegetable oil fuels or other things, I don't know, but I'm, I'm all for experimentation in all directions. My guest tonight, Charles Ford. Hi, this is Carl Food. I'm with a group called the People for the Ethical Treatment of French Fries. Oh my God. Or Pitiff. Pitiff? My question for Charles is how many innocent French fries have to fry to make this fuel? We'll, we'll be monitoring your process and uh, save the fries. Okay, you got to save the fries. Grassling is, is kind of a catch-all term that I use to describe uh, green fuels. Grassoline means green. It means lean and clean. It means energy from water, solar, and soybeans. It means finding ways to keep the planet Earth pristine. And most of all, it's all about having Earth-friendly machines.